I'm Lieutenant Paul M. Schaefer of Washington, Indiana, 67th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing. We're here at Freedom Village today in Munsoni, Korea, to interview a returned Air Force prisoner. I'd like to introduce you now to that prisoner. Would you introduce yourself, Paul? Well, my name is Edward R. Collins. I'm from Jackson, Michigan, 456 Bird Avenue. My mother's name is Mrs. Dorothy Warren. How long has it been now, Ed, since you've been home? Well, I, last time I was home was uh, 26 November of 1950. You were captured uh, May 20th, 1951, is that right? That's, that's right, sir. In other words, you're up there a little over two years. Yes, sir, 27 months. Okay. Tell us what your job was when you were captured. What were you doing? I was a ground controller for the fighter and bombers for ground support for our infantry. You called in fighter bomber strikes then on uh, the enemy near the front line, right? Yes, on the enemy position. You tell us uh, the circumstances surrounding your capture. Well, it happened the night of the 16th. That they broke through our left flank and they got surrounded us, and we had one, one way out was a mountain pass, and they more or less cut us off, and we couldn't get our vehicles out of the mountain pass. Uh, leave our vehicles and take for the hills. And we went for three days in the hills trying to get through their lines, which didn't work. And then after three days, on the 20th, quarter to six, I was captured with my senior officer. I see. Uh, you had the enviable position of being the only Air Force man in uh, your camp. Is that right? That's right, sir. Did you notice any different treatment given you as a result of your being in the Air Force rather than in the Army? No, sir. Was no different. Have you uh, ever heard of Air Force personnel, particularly pilots, being given rougher treatment from the other people? Yes, I was told by a captain in, uh, uh, from Camp 2 that they was treating the pilots pretty well. Nice. And, uh, that's, that's, that's just what, what he told me. I don't know how to say it, but that's just what he told me. Well, Ed, is there anything you'd like to say to the people back home, maybe your girl, Carol Lee. Would you like to say something yes, to her? I'd like to say hello to Carol Lee, and I'll be seeing you soon, sweetheart. Well, nice to have you home, Ed. Thank you very much. Uh, 
And uh, during that course, about 2 o'clock in the morning, after they saw it, they weren't, weren't, weren't getting any place with me, the uh, small pot was brought into the room and charcoal was lit and put in it. And from the fumes, I was gassed. And uh, the last thing I remember before I passed out was being beat in the back by fists. By fists? Yes. That charcoal was deliberately brought into the room? Uh, I believe it was, yes. They stayed for quite a while, then the, the commanding officer came back and I was ordered to my room uh, for rest and I was uh, in bed about eight days as a result of that interrogation. That's true. Do you think that, uh, we've, we've heard a lot of the possessors up there, do you think that it's possible that the possessors that had turned you in? Well, it's very possible, yeah. Do you remember any specific times where you thought a possessor did turn you in or something like that? 